much trouble for him. Then he said goodbye to his friends. He will pause the porcupine very carefully. looking for a hill to climb to see where he was. Harold knew that the higher up he went, the farther he could see. So, he decided to make a hill into a mountain. Harold was tired and he felt he ought to be getting to bed. He hoped he could see his bedroom window from the top of the mountain. But, as he looked down over the other side, Harold slipped, and there wasn't any other side of the mountain. He was falling in thin air. But, luckily, Harold kept his wits and his purple crayon. He made a balloon, and he grabbed onto it. And he made a basket under the balloon big enough to stand in. had a fine view from the balloon, but he couldn't see his window. He couldn't even see a house. So, he made a house with windows. And he landed the balloon on the grass in the front yard. None of the windows was his window. He tried to think where his window ought to be. He made some more windows. He made a big building full of big windows. He made lots of buildings full of windows. He made a whole city full of windows. But none of the windows was his window. Harold was afraid. But then Harold remembered that things are never as bad as they seem. Harold decided to ask a policeman for directions. The policeman pointed the direction Harold was already going. Harold begged him anyway. And he walked along with the moon, wishing he was in his room and in bed.